Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the GCBs, the Galactic Family, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. I'm about to put my foot all in this thing. Chosen One, you must be aware at all times. They're following you and trying to figure out your next move. They want to know what you're up to and they'll go to any length to figure it out. They want to know what you're going to do next. They have an extreme passion and desire to know what you're up to. All you want to do is live your life and be peaceful, but they have to get in between that and make that difficult because they take pleasure in it. It's something that they love to do. It's something that makes them feel like they're alive. It makes them feel important. The little bit of power that they're given, they go all out with it because they know that there's no repercussions for what they're doing. And this is why when you go to get law enforcement involved, this is why nothing will happen. They might even exchange some glances with each other. Higher ups are the ones that are influencing the, the ground, the, the groundsmen, the street sweepers. Anybody can experience these types of things. And the information is out there. There's no specific term that anybody has made up. The information is out there for you to look it up and research it for yourself. I've looked it up. I've learned some things and I figured out what I was experiencing and I, I decided to speak on it. Anybody can do that. But when you're being followed, you're going to notice that people are too close. People are popping up before you can even turn the corner. All right. Those are the people that are watching you. When people are making you excuse yourself. When people are doing things as you do them. I was coming down the stairs and someone, as soon as I came down the stairs, I couldn't even move. The person was right there in front of me. And me and this person almost got into it because I was tired of the games at that point. But you still have to keep your composure even though you're tired. And I know it's hard, but these people are trying to figure you out. The best thing you can do when they're trying to act this way and play like they're hard or tough is to keep your composure and keep your cool and not let them know how you feel about it at all. Because that right there is going to give you the upper hand and the advantage. They're, going, they're not going to know what to think. They might think you're crazy. You have to, you have to be discreet and undercover and low key around these people. They, 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 they could know whatever they know. It doesn't matter because you run the show. It's your mind that they're playing with. You have to not let them toy around with you. If they want to push your buttons, let it have no effect. If they want to follow and figure out and learn. If they want to know your whereabouts, where you go, what you do, who you're with. People will... If people are staring at you like weird and making you feel uncomfortable more than normal, odds are these people know about you some kind of way or they have some type of connection with you and they probably have been ordered to keep an eye on you. People like and, and sometimes, unfortunately, these people might even think they're like they might even think they're doing something good. They might even think they're doing something good. They might think that because the police came and told them or a, a few other neighbors came and told them, hey, keep an eye on this person. This person is someone that needs to be watched. They might think that they're doing a good a good deed when in, in all actuality, they told a lie about this person. And this, this is what the slander is for. This is why people will follow and stalk and harass they might think that you're a bad person. They might think that you've harmed somebody. They might think that you hurt you hurt old people. For all you know, only God knows what they told these people. Only God knows. 
only Yah knows. But you have to be aware. If, 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 if you know somebody's following you, take a different route. All right. Make sure you keep a, a flashlight with you. Make sure you keep your phone charged. You may have to use your camera. How many times have you went to use your camera and your phone died? Or you didn't have enough battery or enough space? Always clear out your space in your phone when as a TI. Because when things happen and you need to pull out that phone as reassurance to yourself, maybe not proof, but as reassurance to yourself that this is happening, you're going to want that space. Sometimes if you go to record something, it may not work if you have too much data in your phone. And that might be a pivotal time for you to get that right there. That might have been something that God was like, yo, like you, you get that thought to pull your phone out. That might that might be an angel or something trying to tell yo, get that record that for yourself. Because, I mean, the, yo, there are this is real. There are people that will do this. And we, we know we know by now. It's, it's too many people talking about it, and it's not enough people talking about it. The more people talking about it, the better. That's just common sense. The more people bringing awareness to a negative or evil that's in the world, I, I think God would approve of that. You know, I, I, I think God would appreciate more people working for him and doing something better than out here hurting people. This is an outlet for someone that experiences a lot of weird stuff and this this has helped me and it, and and it's helped a lot of other people too by the grace of god so check please thank you i'm out it is what it is when people are following you they're gonna do the most i've had people wear the same clothes as me the day I go to a place, they like they know what time you're going to certain places. They they know what you're going to wear. This is how much they pay attention to you, and they will they will mirror you. And this this is this is narcissistic, and they do it to try to get your attention and get underneath your skin. But you have to pretend it doesn't exist. Ignoring them is the best way to get these people out of your mind, out of your head. They may try to continue to insert themselves in your life, but if you act like they're invisible, that's that's going to take care of half. That's half the battle right there. Even even if you could even if you could push back this stuff twenty five percent, that's great. And acting like they don't exist, that's a that's at least a solid twenty five percent of this stuff. They want to figure out your next move to be able to know you more than you know yourself or appear to know you more than you know yourself, because that's definitely what they want to do. They want to appear more than you know yourself. But one thing I could say is it seems like they're under some type of control because they all behave the same way and for people to not know each other for people to not know each other and to not be in the same area as each other you might travel you might go from one place to another for people to know how to try to irritate a person the same way and to be all on game with the same game that should raise an eyebrow right there that's how you know it's it's some spiritual warfare that's taking place it's, a, it's, a, it's some evil afoot. And that's how you know that these spirits are operating these, these people. These people are being operated by spirits. It's like you sitting in a car. These people are on autopilot with the, with, with the spirit telling them where to go. So you have to be aware. You may not be able to go the same way you go. You might have to do things at different times. You may have to make some sacrifices. And it may even put you at a, 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 a disconvenience. I mean, an inconvenience. May even put you at an inconvenience. 
but it's better than having them having them people all up in your face. It's way better than having them people all up in your face. If people are coming out the same time as you or coming in the same time as you, that's a sign that you're going to have to switch your time up. If it's bothering you that bad, you could switch your time up. But the best thing you could do is act like it doesn't even exist. Just imagine that. Imagine how cool that would be for you to pretend that they don't even bother you. And, 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 and that you're solidified and protected. I know, it's, I know it's hard when you have people pulling on your focus, playing with your attention, playing with your, your good spirit, playing with your positive attitude. They're playing with you like, you know, like it's, the, it's a cool thing to do because they see that you don't retaliate. They're just not wise enough. These, these types of people are possessed and that's something you have to keep in mind. It's like the spirit wants you to think that it's a it's actually the person that they're possessing that's that's behaving this way. That's what the spirit wants you to think that there is actually them behaving this way. Not everybody sees this stuff. Certain people see certain things and certain people don't. Certain people have a spiritual keen eyesight to be aware of certain things that happen and others don't. And if you have the awareness of it, and God, God gave you a voice to speak out on it. That's what you're supposed to do. And if it's something that's positive, that's that's turning out well for you and others, keep doing it. All right, but don't let these people figure out your next move. Take different routes. If you if if if, if you walk places, maybe you're a pedestrian. Maybe you're naked out here. Maybe in these streets, maybe you're out in the open and people can see your whereabouts and your comings and goings. That's the worst type of T.I. to be someone where people can see your comings and goings. They know where you're going when you go for a walk. They know what you're about to do as soon as you leave your place. Oh, he's doing this. He's doing that. He's they're too focused on on you. And you have to be aware of that. You have to be aware to the point to where you pretend it doesn't exist and you just let them operate how they operate. And you'll you'll be like Neo in the Matrix, all the bullets flying. He's like, chew, chew, chew. that's what that represents. I'm about to go back and watch, watch the Matrix again. I'm about to go back and watch the Matrix again. She said, auntie's got to go to work. She said, again, <laughs> yo. That video with that little girl is, is is pretty funny. That little girl with her aunt, when she was like, why are you in the bathtub? <laughs> She's like, I got to go to work. She was like, again? <laughs> I quote my sources. Again? Anyway. You're, you're, you're going to have to really make sure that when these types of people are around, you're not giving in to them. It's gonna be to your downfall. I I know you want to. I know you. I know you want to speak your peace. I know you be fighting for what's right, but you gotta let God fight that battle. You gotta let God take care of that because it, yo, it's it's spiritual warfare. Best thing you could do is let Him handle it. You're not taking into into mind that it's something that's possessing these people at your job possibly even at church, possibly even in your neighborhood. They're going to not be themselves. And you have to keep that in mind. That's not who you think it is. That's not what you think it is. It's, it's, the, it's actual negative forces at hand that are up against you and your purpose. And if, if you have a purpose, you know, you knew you had one since birth for a long time. You knew that it was going to be something that you were going to do. And you knew that God was going to be involved in it. And you knew that it was going to be something with you working with people. You knew you were going to be great. You knew you were going to be great since day one. And they're watching you because you're great. They want to see if you are going to actually become who you feel you are. They're watching you to see what you do wrong because 
they think you're perfect, but no one's perfect. They want to try to be able to blackmail you. And that's what they want to do. They want to see what you're into. They want to try to be able to uh, uh, blackmail you. But you, you, there's, 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 you are focused on what you're supposed to do. You're not worried about them. You're not worried about anything they got going on. They're the ones worried about you. You're the ones that you're the one that need to be taking pictures of them. If anybody's taking pictures of anybody, it needs to be you taking a picture of them. But be aware because you need to know what's going on around you. And you need to keep an eye out on these kinds of people because you just don't know what they're up to. And I wouldn't pay them no mind because when I ever, whenever I did pay them any mind, it's like they suck you in. Soon as, as soon as you give them a second of your time, these these spirits have a way of using these people to suck you in, and it's with the negative energy. All right, this is why you can't be somebody that gets caught off guard easily or swayed easily by negative energy. If you feel negative energy, you have to leave it where it's at. All right. Some people may have church, like somewhere along your journey, you may have become accustomed to entertaining negative energy. Now it's time for you to stop entertaining it and just leave it where it's at. Whatever people are dealing with, it's not yours. That spirit is obviously possessing that person. And it's time for you to put your focus inward and leave the negative energy where it's at allow this person to stay over there they might try to draw you in don't pay attention to it i'm telling you what i know if you give the spirit a second of your time they're going to drain that second even that one second you you the the way the game is played is that you you can't give them a smidget of your time you can't give them nothing Because they'll take that and they'll run with it. If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. So why do they want to know your next move? So they can try to destroy your plans. They want to see what God is trying to do with you. And the negative energy in them doesn't want to see that come into fruition. So what they'll try to do is watch you, observe you, get around you, and try to make things difficult for you. They probably even see the light around you. They probably even see the light on you. A lot of us walk around and people like these demons can see that light. That's why they're attracted to it. Light attracts flies. As the saying goes, this light attracts these pieces of work. And the thing is, this is what you have to realize. People may not understand what I'm saying and they may get confused and be like, what is he talking about? The, the, the energy that you possess, right? You have a certain amount of energy in you and it's that God force. And these spirits are only attracted to people with that God force. They can't get to God directly. So what they'll do is they'll get to the, the people that have the, a lot of God energy in them and they'll try to attack that and get that energy to flow out of you into them by getting your reaction, getting you angry, making you upset, causing you to feed into their BS, their bullshnish. All right, their bullshnish. All right, they want you to feed into their bullshnish. All right, they want you to feed into that that mm, yeah. all right, that BS, all right? And their goal is to get you to do something that will get you put behind, get you put behind bars. And I, I never knew that, I never knew why I felt a strange connection to people that I'm not gonna, well, we ain't gonna take it that far, but I always wondered why I had empathy or some kind of empathy for certain people. And it's like, they were pushed to the point. They were pushed to the point in no return. I'm glad I have governance over myself and I pray because I'm not throwing my life away for the likes of them and you shouldn't either. But they like to push people 
and they'll 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 take they'll take uh they'll take what they can. If they they can get you to destroy yourself, and they could they could get you put in it behind bars, and they have that control over your life to where you'll never see the light of day again. That pleases them. So not only that, they're trying to basically make your life difficult. They want you to suffer from the the things that they put you through. You go to have a normal experience when you go out because of them. It's it's kind of strange, weird, and it's not normal. And over time, that could cause a person to get irritated. Oh, every time I go out, I got to deal with this. Oh, every time I go out, I got to pretend these people don't even exist. Some things happened to me today and you know, it just rolled off my back like water on a duck. I'm proud of myself. I ignored it. I act like it didn't bother me. I didn't give the person the satisfaction. You, you, you don't want to give them that satisfaction. That's allowing them to drain you of your energy and take your power from you. When you don't react to them, you take power from them. It's the opposite effect. Now they're going to be even looking for you even more because their plan is befuddled. What they tried to do has failed. But you having a normal experience is something that they can't stand. When you attract a lot of attention on a mass scale, that causes mass jealousy. When all those jealous people see that this one person is gaining all this attention, it's going to cause them to act out in this type of way. And this this is depending on who you are. That's how they're going to behave to you. If you're not easily controlled by the MK Ultra, they, they like if you're not easily controlled by these demonic spiritual weapons, that's what they got. They got demonic spiritual weapons. It's alien technology from 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 another dimension. And you got the draconians working with government, building these things. And some of these people in military who are on the front line of this ground level stalking that they got. They want to be able to know where you're at so they can zap your energy and so that they could possibly hit you with some of these weapons. But the good part is you're always protected. Their plans are never going to go through all the way. The weapon will form, but it, the, the, we the weapon will form against you, but it won't prosper. When they try to use these things on you, it'll probably end up exploding on them. But I've noticed some strange behavior with certain township company vehicles. And I know everybody else has too. I call them the energy police. And the most of the, 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 the spirit of God didn't put that. I can't say certain words because, but forget all that. Anyway, the most high put that on my spirit for a reason. That came to me. I'm like, yo, they the energy police. And I was like, yo, they really are though. They're the energy police. People that are staging street theater, driving around to antagonize a pedestrian. In my case, you know, when you are out in the open, you're you're pretty much naked out here in the street. And people that are prone to this type of behavior are able to have have an all out w wage warfare on your life. And this is why I know a lot about this type of stuff. I'm not making this up. I'm not copying anybody else. What I am saying is my own experience. And I've experienced this firsthand. I'm, I'm speaking. I might have learned from some other people, but I'm speaking from my own experience. You're allowed to learn from whoever you want, but I'm, I'm speaking from my own experience. And I know what I'm talking about. Some other people may have brought some things to light and help me understand what I was going through. And I'm forever indebted and grateful and appreciative for that. But I'm not going to not speak my truth and bring uh, awareness to, to what's going on here with these freaks and these weirdos and these people on these lists. So you must be aware 
and you must be careful, especially if you are out in the street as a pedestrian and naked out here, because this is where people will back up their car and act like they're not looking and have a license and have the nerve to have a license plate that says KKK. I'm waving around for people. No, nobody's stopping. Nobody's rolling the window down. Nobody's asking what's going on. That was one of the, I'm like, wow. The, the lady just, she saw me and kept backing up. I moved out the way and I'm banging on the car. She's still backing up. I just did the spin move on her. <laughs> I pulled the spin move on that. But yo, I had, yo, I, I had to get up out of there before I got caught up underneath that wheel. Cause she was not gonna stop. I'm banging on the John on the back of the window. She's still coming. I'm like, wow. And they they like the reason why you need to be aware is because they like to follow you and watch you to set up and stage more attacks on you, set up and stage more unnormal, normal seeming events. Like they create unnormal events and make them seem normal. That's how evil they are. They'll take something regular and make it an attack on you. But that's the way they operate. And they go on, they, 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 yo, all this type of behavior is going to end up just making you into like a, a super uh, mentally strong individual. So it's all good. But you still must be aware because they're, if they're out to get you like that, and you are a pedestrian. I've had people almost like you. Let's just say this: you have to be careful on these sidewalks. All right, they they will they will time when you go to do things. They'll see that they will watch you from a distance and stage an attack and act like they never saw you. And I know that sounds like common sense, but that's still something that you need to know. They'll act like they never saw you and come out of nowhere. You have to stay on your P's and Q's. All right. This, this is this is this is real. Some of some of these people are daring enough and crazy enough to try to do the unthinkable. And you are protected, but you still have to make you still have to do your part as well and, and keep an eye out and to preserve to preserve yourself. And if, I, I mean this in, in, in all truth and all realness. You need to you need to be aware of what's going on around you. Because they are watching you, they are trying to figure you out, and they are staging attacks. They are staging uh, uh, setups. They are staging traps. All because you pose a threat to them, and seeing you move throughout society touches them the wrong way. It rubs them the wrong way. And when it's multiple people at once... It's a, it's a lot to deal with, and that's why it's best to just ignore it, act, pretend it's not happening to you, and let God do his due diligence. Let God take care of what he needs to take care of, and, and, and let God do his thing. Because he can, he can do them way worse than we ever could. And plus, keep in mind, you're not dealing with the flesh. And, and I think I'm still getting over that. Honestly, I, I think that I thought it was a, a flesh thing, and now I'm leaning more towards the spiritual aspect of it. I dealt with the flesh part of this for a good minute, and now if, if you are confused or maybe lacking understanding, it's just because I'm getting into the spiritual side of this, which is also it, it, it is still somewhat physical. But at, at first, when I dealt with this, I thought it was just all flesh. I'm thinking people were just acting rude, mean, being jerks and, and a-holes and all this stuff. But it, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. They don't put this these, these kinds of things in movies for no reason. You know? So what, make sure that you pray before you leave and you pray when you get back and ask God uh, and and thank God for for make uh, thank God for allowing you to make it back safe and thank him to continue to do that and you know pray over your moves pray over the things you have to go do always incorporate God in what you're doing and allow him to strengthen your discernment 
Ask him to strengthen your discernment, your awareness, your focus. Allow, ask him to keep you on point while you're out. Allow him to be able to, to keep your focus on yourself while you're out. Ask him to keep you protected from these, these demons out here. Because that's what they are. And this, this is real. All right. We are all coming to the conclusion at this one particular point in time that there's some evil out there and it needs to be spoken about by more than one person. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button, smash that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. We out.